Hey, that's a soda pop from Soda Use, and you are watching the Malak channel. And today we're looking at a comic or graphic novel, The Last Siege by Walker, Greenwood, Jones, Simpson, and Brosseau. So the cover is uh, all right, but I saw a lot of the variant covers towards the end that I liked a lot more. Uh, and it's kind of a problem with this book specifically for me. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the art style, but that being said, I have to commend them for making characters distinguishable because now that I've been reading more and more graphic novels and comics, one of the big problems I've been noticing is that characters, uh, you know, sometimes people can get a little bit lazy. You can tell that some of the uh, panels are a little bit more low effort. They're trying to save time, save money. Um, because, you know, it's not an easy thing making a comic or graphic novel. And also sometimes, I'd imagine most often, there's not enough money in the pot for the project itself. And people are working off of passion, trying to do something that they care about. Um, so that's why it's always kind of hard to critique <laughs> these and art books. But, you know, I think it's important. Uh, so in this one, uh, there's kind of this... It's not as deep as I think um, some people would like to suggest as I was reading some of the reviews and stuff on the back. A lot of people were comparing it to Game of Thrones. Like, there are some set pieces that feel like they came from Game of Thrones. <laughs> but, um, but who knows where all these things come from. No, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Uh... But I didn't feel like it was that complex in a lot of the... Uh, kind of mechanics of the story are kind of simple. Um, and for me, unfortunately, I feel like there was a lot of exposition and like conversation and dialogue in places that just really slowed things down or weren't exactly necessary, kind of bloated the comic itself. Um, I didn't particularly relate to or enjoy or like any of the characters all that much. Um, and yeah, as I said, I, I'm not a big fan of this art style, but you are able to tell who's who, which is, I would say, uh, more important. And so we're probably going to get towards and into some spoilers. Uh, so just be aware of that if you uh, want to avoid those. Maybe check out the chapters. I'll try and start including those in my YouTube videos. And uh, yeah, one of the things that really drove me crazy about this is just how they would like let a villain go. The villain would like imprison them and let them go like multiple times. <laughs> uh, I'll get you, but it's not really like a... Uh, the, the comic itself doesn't carry that kind of comical, you know... I'll get you, Tone. It seems to take itself very seriously. And so... When your villains and everything don't feel like a real threat and like the antagonist can't be taken seriously and the story wants you to take it seriously, I feel like that's... that's a bit of a disconnect. You know, they end up using gunpowder and stuff to uh, gain the upper hand on a larger enemy. And the, the fight scenes are okay. Uh, they don't blow me away, though. Just kind of like the character design, like it's, it's serviceable, it works, but it doesn't impress me. And the ending, uh, you know, it's all right. Like I said, this one, I, I didn't feel like it was bad, but I didn't feel like it was great either. It, I just don't feel like it's extremely memorable or impressive, which is too bad because I can tell that, you know, a lot of work went into this. I like how they include kind of some of the quotes from 13th and 14th century writers. 
Uh, and some of these variant covers are just so cool. Take a look at a few of these. Yeah, I really liked that. But, you know, The Last Siege, it was all right. I don't know if I could necessarily recommend this, uh, but if it seems something that is appealing to you and you want a little bit more that kind of medieval uh, knights in armor kind of storytelling, then maybe this would be something that you would be interested in. I personally would give this a B rank, and I don't know. What do you think about it? Have you read the book? Let me know in the comments. Uh, did I just not understand it well enough? Uh, let me know. And also, please like and subscribe. It really helps out. And be sure to check the links in the description. I should have my Patreon there. Supporting that helps me so much. It makes it possible for me to support other artists and creators. Uh, I am really active in that. And I try to be an advocate for the arts in general. And I think it's important. Also, you can see if there's any affiliate links there. That also helps me a little bit. And really anything you can do to help, I appreciate because I am passionate about this and I want to keep doing it. And because of that, I'm very grateful if you made it this far. Thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you again. Take care. You're such a